Hey guys, I'm Q Styles. I'm a Florida barber, and I want to tell you something that I observed this morning at church, reading the Bible and going over that with my wife today on um, spiritual things. A perspective as you read the Bible, I guess, not really something in the Bible, but do you realize Paul, for instance, he wrote three quarters of the New Testament of the Bible, roughly. He would walk into churches like the Church of Corinth, and he would examine the church. He would sit back. Even sometimes he had a connection with the pastors, and he would communicate with them through letter, whatever. Sometimes they would say, hey, come on over. There'd be an invite, whatever. They'd be accepted. They'd come in. Paul would open his scripture in his mind and his heart because they had scrolls, and it wasn't easily accessible like it is now where we all have a Bible, right? But he had it written on his heart. He knew the word. So when he would sit in these churches... He would observe them through the lens of the Bible, of the Torah, of the scrolls, of the letters that they accumulated, which are the, the, the words that we read, which are authorized by God as inspired through these men, through these saints, which the Bible says we are as well, a royal priesthood, it says. So just as you read your Bible, as you understand these verses, as you try to teach yourself the word, Understand the whole concept of that situation. A Bible believer who knows the word walking into a church, sitting down and observing. And his letters oftentimes were to rebuke, correct, sometimes edify the church in which he observed and perceived in light of the scripture. Why is this? Because men, us flesh, us humans have a tendency to have ego, pride, sin after sin after sin that we let creep in and slowly change how we speak the words of God, speak the things above. I'm convinced that it's spiritual. I am absolutely convinced that these shields go over our eyes, these scales go over our eyes if we do not continually saturate ourselves with the word of God. That is the filter that we have. That is the only way we will be able to set under another man and know if he is being of God or of self. Not even going to get into being of Satan. That's a whole nother conversation. Right now, we're just going to be talking about self or God, right? So we want to follow people that are of God and crucify the flesh. We do not want to follow or affirm people that lift up the flesh while crucifying God. All right? So I hope it was intriguing today to hear these like perspective on how the Bible and some of the letters were written in the Bible to perceive analytically in light of commandments given to us by God and see if they're being applied appropriately. That is what the Bible is for us because when we want to learn and grow spiritually, we need to make sure that those who we are learning from are teaching us appropriately according to scripture. Sola Scriptura.